Hello welcome this is one india news and i am akash west indies were absolutely fantastic in the fourth odi they went down and out at half time with just 189 on the board but they kept their heads up and performed out of their skin to win the match for their country their victory came as a welcome win for them as they shocked the visitors with a phenomenal bowling performance it was a great win for west indies Yes, in holder, the captain picked up five wickets as they managed to win the game and bowl out the opposition. Their top order contributed the majority of the runs. So now let's take a look at the predicted West Indies team for the fifth and the final ODI. The openers: Evan Lewis and Kyle Hope. Lewis is a fantastic batsman and can bat at a number of positions, but with his recent performance, he has made the opening position for himself. He has played some match-winning innings for his team and is an important part of this setup. He has not fired in the series yet, but you never know as most of the West Indies players are unpredictable. Shai Hope's elder brother Kyle Hope has been roped in for the last three ODIs and he made 35 runs in his second ever ODI. He was the joint highest scorer for his team as he was pushed up the order and paired with Lewis for the opening partnership. He did pretty well as they crossed 50 for the first wicket. Middle order of Shai Hope, Proston Chase and Jason Mohammed. Shai Hope has come off his own recently. He has shown his class in the second ODI and he is one of those few consistent batters for the West Indies setup. Hope's inning of 81 in the second ODI still remains fresh as he was outstanding there. However, he has been a little off since then, but then there are not many players better than this guy. Rostin Chase is busy on the crease and that is what you need from a number 4 batter. He has saved a lot of test matches for his team, but the ODI cricket is a different thing altogether. He has the ability to hit with a long handle while can also hold the fort if required. Chase is very much important for the West Indies squad. Now Jason Mohammed is yet another very talented batsman. But then again, West Indies have a lot of talent but their application over the last few years has been very poor. And the same goes for Mohammed who is yet to win a game for his side but has the ability to do so. Hence, it will be interesting to see how he will come off in a pressure do or die game. Lower middle order of Jason Holder and Rowan Powell. Jason Holder was fantastic in the last game. He scored only 11 runs but picked up 5 wickets. Being the captain of the team, he led the team from the front and made sure that his team is not out of the competition. Holder was superb with the ball as he just gave away 27 runs in his 9.4 overs and took care of the tail and the top order batsmen. His form is the reason why West Indies won that game. Meanwhile, Powell needs to fire up. He won't get many chances to perform at this position, but he needs to take his chance and fire for his team. He has the ability to hit and take the match away from the opposition in a flash, and he needs to use that long handle for a good effort. Bowlers: Ashley Nurse, Devendra Bishnu, Alzadi Joseph, and Kesrik Williams. Nurse is as good as a batter as he is a bowler. He is strong and big which allows him to clear the ropes with ease. He has a better defense if compared to any number 8 batter and can rely upon all kinds of situation and with the ball he is better than most. The right arm of spinner bowls it with intelligence and most importantly picks wicket. He is a must for his team. A wrist spinner like Bishnu can be a trump card for the captain and he has been out of form for a long time but he did well in the fourth ODI he picked up only one wicket but an important one of ajinkya rahane his help break the partnership between dhoni and him which opened the gates for other bowlers joseph was expensive of all but did his job by taking two crucial wickets he sent back shikhar dhawan and also dinesh karthik who could have been a threat if given ample time joseph was bowling at a rate of knots 
and was at the batter which also leaked runs but got him the wicket as well. An attacking bowler is always a treat to have. And Williams bowled beautifully well. He gave away only 29 runs in his 10 overs and picked up the wicket which actually won them the game. He picked up the wicket of MS Dhoni when he was starting to look dangerous. The wicket shook India and they never recovered and eventually West Indies won by 11 runs. But this was the predicted 11 for the West Indies side for the fifth and the final ODI between India and West Indies. Well, that's all for now but for more news and updates log on to oneindia.com and please don't forget to like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.